enjoyment in something like this gold beaker is when it's finished. You know, at last, at last. There's months and months of work in that. Um, and I have the, the it's 22 karat gold and I have it, um, the basic form raised by a silversmith that I've worked with for, for many, many years. Peter Musgrove made this one. Um, and then I work on them afterwards. So I sort of alter the shape a bit um, and put, put the ridging on the inside maybe. Um, and um, just make sure that that edge is very free form. Um, I don't see the point in a dead straight edge. Um, if you look on my Instagram, Malcolm Appleby uh, 46, you'll see some photographs of chicken of the wood fungus and they're just fabulous. You know, they've got these beautiful edges. Why create a straight line when you can follow what nature does so beautifully. Um, and the actual engraving on that is um, I call colliding galaxies. Um, and you know, when two galaxies come together and kind of mix, um, it's rather like two, two sort of splashes of water sort of joining together. The thing about um, this 22 karat gold or even silver for that matter, um, and fine engraving it picks up the light in so many different ways so if you put that torch on it you know it's just so different and every time you look at this piece it's different um, partly to do with the light that's coming off it I mean there's a different light there you see and, and partly because of the multitude of lines which are ref reflecting the light in every direction so um, and I'm not totally aware of that when I'm actually doing it it's only when it's finished um, and the experience of doing that then goes on into all the other pieces so you know over years and years of doing this you're building up such a huge repertoire of techniques um, and how to use these very very simple tools these are quite different. Um, these are silver bowls and a technique that I started in probably in the 1970s, I think, <clears throat> where I took a flat sheet of silver, engraved all over the surface, and then had it made afterwards, which is um, totally against the way um, that engraving is normally um, practised. Um, and by doing this you can engrave on the inside and the outside so this one's called turmoil um, which was very much to do with um, uh, what is happening around us now not just with um, Covid but with um, global warming and um, only this week we've had these terrible fires in Colombia, British Colombia um, so you know that's to do with that but then in, in the centre um, I've gone to my garden and found a, a water lily, uh, which is almost a symbol of sort of peace and calm. So in the middle of the turmoil, you have you have this piece of um, piece of tranquility. You know, it is still there. We have to find it.